in a quiet village nestled between rolling hills and a winding river, lived two friends named Leo and Max. They were inseparable, having grown up together, sharing countless adventures and secrets. Leo was known for his quick wit and daring spirit, while Max was admired for his gentle nature and thoughtful ways. One sunny morning, Leo and Max decided to explore the forest that bordered their village. Their journey led them deeper into the woods, where they stumbled upon an arrow. Rickety bridge suspended over a tranquil stream. The bridge was old, its wooden planks worn by time and weather. Excitement danced in Leo's eyes as he exclaimed, Let's cross the bridge, Max. It'll be an unforgettable adventure. Quote. Max hesitated, eyeing the bridge warily. Leo, are you sure it's safe? It looks quite fragile. Leo scoffed, dismissing Max's concern. Come on, Max. Don't be such a scaredy cat. It's just a bridge. What could go wrong? Quote. With trepidation, Max followed Leo onto the bridge. Step by step, they made their way across. Their heartbeats echoing in the silence. Midway through, a loud creaking sound filled the air, causing Max's grip on the railing to tighten. I think we should turn back. Leo, Max suggested, his voice quivering. But Leo was determined to prove his fearlessness. Nonsense. Max, we've come thus far. Besides, it's perfectly safe. Quote. As they reached the bridge end, a sudden snap echoed. And before they knew it, the bridge gave way beneath them. Leo managed to grasp a protruding plank, his heart racing, while Max found himself submerged in the cold stream below. Leo, help me. Max cried out, struggling to stay afloat. Leo's eyes widened with realization. His recklessness had put them both in danger. And Max was paying the price for it. With newfound determination, Leo swung down to reach Max and pulled him to safety. Coughing and shivering, Max managed a weak smile. Leo, I told you, we should have listened to my instincts. Leo's shoulders sagged, guilt gnawing at his heart. He had let his ego cloud his judgment, endangering himself and his friend. They made their way back to the village. Leo humbled and Max nursing a cold. Over the next few days, as Max recovered and Leo reflected on his actions, the weight of his mistake grew heavier. He couldn't shake the image of Max struggling in the water, a direct result of his overconfidence. Finally. Leo mustered the courage to face Max. He found his friend sitting by the riverbank, skimming pebbles across the water. Max, Leo began, his voice sincere. I want to apologize. I should have listened to you. And I shouldn't have dismissed your concerns. I'm truly sorry for putting both of us in danger. Max looked at Leo, surprise and gratitude in his eyes. Leo. I appreciate your honesty. It takes a lot to admit when you're wrong. Apology accepted. Leo sighed with relief. A weight lifted off his shoulders. From that moment on, Leo learned the importance of humility and the value of admitting one's mistakes. Their friendship grew stronger, built on a foundation of trust and mutual respect. As time passed, the village decided to rebuild the bridge making it stronger and safer than before. Leo and Max watched the construction with a newfound understanding of the significance it held in their lives. The bridge became a symbol of their journey, not just across the stream, but towards personal growth. And so, the tale of Leo and Max's adventure over the bridge of reflection spread throughout the village. Reminding everyone that admitting one's mistakes and offering a sincere apology is a mark of strength, not weakness. The moral of the story lived on. A reminder that the bonds of friendship can weather any storm when nurtured with honesty and humility.